Hello Catchy OS enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting update on one of the most performance focused Linux distributions. In today's video, we are diving into the first release of 2025 for Catchy OS. Packed with optimizations, new features and important fixes. So let's get started. Delayed release and NVIDIA driver support. This release took a little longer than usual and for a good reason. The team wanted to ensure full support for the latest NVIDIA graphics cards before rolling it out. Now, with the inclusion of the new 570 NVIDIA driver, users with the Blackwell or 5000X series GPUs can enjoy full compatibility. However, it's worth noting that Blackwell only supports NVIDIA's open module driver, which required a change in how the ISOs handles NVIDIA modules. If you're using an older NVIDIA GPU, specifically the 1000X series or lower, you'll need to boot using the first option instead of the dedicated NVIDIA boot option. The installation process itself remains seamless thanks to CatchOS automatic hardware detection. Now, performance enhancements, propeller optimization. One of the biggest highlights in this update is the new optimization technique applied to the Cache OS kernel. Previously, Auto FDO was enabled by default, but now with LLVM 19 available. The kernel is also optimized with propeller. When combined, these techniques can provide up to a 10% increase in throughput, along with the reduced latency. Through actual improvements will depend on your workload. If you're interested in how profiling is handled, check out the Catchy OS benchmark script on GitHub. Contributions to improve workload coverage are always welcome. Now, user experience improvements. This update also brings a few long requested quality of life enhancements. For example, tap to click is now enabled by default in X11 sessions, making navigation much smoother for laptop users. Additionally, the NTFS3 kernel driver has replaced NTFS3G, improving performance when working with NTFS partitions. And for gamers, Catchy OS now disables the screensaver while playing games, eliminating an unnecessary interruption during your sessions. Now, kernel changes and AMD fixes. On the kernel side, several improvements have been made, especially for AMD users. The AMD preferred core features has received fixes, ensuring better core management for performance efficiency. The AMD 3D cache driver now properly registers changes at runtime, fixing an issue where previous patches weren't working correctly. This should result in better performance for AMD processors utilizing 3D vCache technology. Now, bug fixes and security updates. This release also includes critical bug fixes, a long-standing issue with DaVinci Resolve failing to work with CUDA when the Intel OpenCL runtime was installed has finally been resolved. Additionally, JLibc has been updated to patch CVE-2025-0395, ensuring better security and stability across the system. Another improvement in the kernel manager ensures that NVIDIA module for the default Arch kernel is properly installed whenever available, reducing compatibility issues. Now, handheld edition changes. For users of the Catchy OS handheld edition, there are some additional updates. The system now allows natively compiled Proton again, making it easier for gamers to run Windows-based games on Linux. Alongside this, there are several minor updates and fixes to improve the overall gaming and handheld experience. Now finally, updating your system. Now if you're already using Catchy OS, you don't need to perform any manual updates beyond the usual system upgrade. Just run sudo pacman-syu and you'll be on the latest version without any extra effort. Now conclusion. That wraps up the February 2025 release of Catchy OS. With powerful new kernels optimizations, better NVIDIA support, 
performance tweaks and crucial fixes. This update is definitely worth installing. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes and if you noticed any improvements in your workflow or gaming performance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Linux content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.